After enjoying a beer at the Red Dog Saloon, we returned to the ship and began our overnight journey to the gold rush town of Skagway. Our first order of business is a train ride up the White Pass Trail on the vintage White Pass Railway. Many of the passenger cars have been restored from the original narrow gauge rolling stock. This is one of the newer engines, so... Yeah. After returning to Skagway, we rented e-bikes with the plan of spending the afternoon exploring the town and surrounding area. Our first stop is the Gold Rush Cemetery. This is the route we followed. In Skagway, I think the highlight had to be the, the electric bikes. Um, we went on the train, which was fun. I've done it several times on that, but the e-bikes is where I really enjoyed it. And I think Art and Tom had a great time on that too. It's mine. It's all mine. I want it. <laughs> oh, 877's my gold now. <laughs> we spent about 30 minutes exploring the cemetery and then reboarded our e-bikes for a trip to the scenic overlook of the town in Cruiseport. From the overlook, we headed back to town. After experiencing one minor delay <clears throat> along our route, we arrived at the Broadway dock to get a good view of the majestic princess secure in her berth. Tom's falling, he can't get up. Anybody got water? I do. Good, bring it here. Okay. Splash it on his face, quick. Hey, what are you doing? Stop that. I didn't fall. That's how I always get off a bike.
Time to drop our lines and set course for Glacier Bay. The native meaning of Skagway is North Wind, and during our departure we found out how Skagway earned its name. Just a few minutes after clearing the dock, gale force winds whipped across the fjord and wreaked havoc with the deck furniture and anything else on deck that was loose. <laughs> 